Okay. Hey, Zeratul. How's it going? I'm apparently going to get raided here shortly. So I'm going to play Risk of Tussie and see what happens. Okay, there we go. So apparently no one's going to raid me. I'm going to mute his stream now and go back to mine. <sighs> what have I got myself into? Why did I agree to this? I don't know, but let's play some game, shall we? Who to play? I mean, I do let me some multi, so I'm going to play multi. Let's go. Oh, I've been raided! Quick, raid message! <laughs> I bless the rains down in Africa Gonna take some time to do the things we never have Oh yeah! Hello everyone, welcome to my stream that I totally just started right now and I didn't try and stream before while also listening to another stream and hear some very cursed knowledge. Hi everyone, my name's Killer's Assist. I think all of you know me, but in case you don't, I'm just a guy who's trying to spread as much love and joy as I can and also cursed food and other weird knowledge that I find occasionally. Yes, the Cursed Knowledge, Vandris. Indeed, indeed. Welcome in, everyone. I'm playing Risk of Rain Tussie right now, and uh, just trying to get a good run going. I totally didn't have an Engineer run earlier. That completely failed because I got distracted by learning that kinks can be genetically passed. Nope, that didn't happen. <laughs> I expect to carry on again night. I mean, so you say this, but you're kind of breaking my heart. Feel spun or uh, zombie. Sorry, Jesus. I'm... So here's a fun fact for you, zombie knot. I got into Vandris and Moon and Noter through Twitch Saints and other various content. And also Spelunky too. back when Twitch Sings still existed. And so whenever people mention karaoke on stream, I'm like, God, I wish I could do that. But Twitch like removed that whole functionality and it breaks my freaking heart, man. Uh, that brings up some very raw emotions. <clears throat> Twitch, sw yeah, Twitch Sings was amazing. Also, hello everyone. Um, I would also like to point out there's a bunch of shoutouts going on right now. Uh, you should go check out all these people who are being shouted out by my bot. Um, they're wonderful people. You already know Noter. You already know Leah. You probably already know Vandris as well. Go check them all out if you don't know any of them. Or, like, you know, just in general, they're good people. Go check them out. They're great. Yeah, Twitch things makes me sad. Oh, no worries, Noter. Go enjoy the little orcs room. I will be here. So I'm playing Risk of Rain 2 modded. I have also decided I'm sick and tired of getting like no Lunar Coins. So I'm being a little bit cheaty. I increase the number of coins I get per pick up to five. Seeing if that feels fairish. I don't know, we'll see. Barring that, it's just like a bunch of QL mods for the most part. Oh god, these are elites. No. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Being lets you know I can only carry okay love songs. DMC was a mistake. Yeah, I don't sing real good, as you probably all noticed not long ago. Um, but I do enjoy singing occasionally. I usually only sing when I'm like really happy though. 
Like, I have to be in a particularly good mood to sing. Or it has to be uh, Africa by Toto, because, oh my god, I cannot resist singing that song. I love that song to bits. You have a bad singing channel reward? I know you do. I love every time it's redeemed because I'm just like, awesome, we get to hear Leah uh, do a try to sing challenge, and it's very fun. Especially when it's never going to gup you up. That is the best song. Just straight up. Twitch Sings is where Sassy Noter started. Sassy Noter. I feel like I should remember more of Sassy Noda than I do, but I don't off the top of my head. But then to be fair, my brain is always so full of random shit, I'm not surprised that I've forgotten things. <clears throat> As I was always set to set. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about that. I forgot the avatars even danced. Yep, that was a thing. Yeah, I sound like trash if I try to sing anything but love songs. I just sound like trash whenever I sing, period. So, like, you know, you could be doing that. Alright, Wandering Vagrant. Vagrant? Vagrant? I don't know. Dead thing. It's just a dead thing. There we go. Uh, a harpoon? It's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Uh, y'all are make me want to just turn on some Electro Swing now. But I know if I turn it on for the stream, I will get probably taken down, which makes me very sad, because I love, love listening to Electro Swing. Much murder, much nails. Oh my god. Stop. There we go. That is a healing drill, which I want before I leave. And that's a chest. Lovely. Boop. Gotta say, though, I've started with a syringe, a needle, or a tritip dagger, rather, and a crit glasses, and some speed juice, or some... Uh, Energy drink. So like, all in all, this is actually a pretty good start. Hopefully the momentum keeps up, but we'll see. Uh, I enjoy working myself because I get to suffer better than this, any song. Oh man. You're making me think of back when I worked for a company where essentially I provided IT services for a myriad of different companies. Good lord, that place had me overworked. I always love getting onto verbal abuse phone calls from companies 12 hours long, complaining about things that I had zero control over. The engineers had control over, and they wanted everyone on hands, including the tier ones who couldn't do fucking shit, but write down ticket notes that I very barely understood because I was in the infancy of my IT career. Like, literally the infancy. Like, we're talking my first... Five years? Four years? Let me think. No, first four years. It was definitely the first four years. It's like I was literally an IT baby. Welcome on, yeah, welcome on back, Noter. Words are hard. <clears throat> now I'm not even reading things. Ah. Uh, I want, like, money. Which means I need people to spawn. But, like, they're not spawning very often. It's kind of frustrating. I want that large chest. It's what I really, really want. Because there's a chance I could get something amazing like a, I don't know, a symbiotic scorpion or something. Or an ICBM, or all sorts of lovely things. But actually, I'll settle for this. I can't afford it. I'd rather have the large chest. Okay. Ooh, a scrapper though. 
I do like the idea of a scrapper right now. Scrap you, scrap the squid polyp. Now we're cooking with some gas. What does Symbiotic Scorpion do? That's the one where every time you hit an enemy, it permanently loses two armor. Um, so minus two armor every time I hit them for the rest of their life. It's pretty fucking good. And if memory serves... For reference, a minus 80 armor penalty is a roughly 20% damage increase to the enemy. Oh, what the hell's happening? Oh, thank you, Majestic and Vandris, for the hosts. I appreciate that. That is completely optional, and y'all decide to do it anyway, so I really, really thank you for that. As Vandris says, hostess bring friends. We like friends. Yeah! There we go. There we go, and maybe I can survive? Yeah, this is not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Hang on, I hear all the dings, people chatting. Let me get safe real fast. Please. There we go. You're heading to bed. Have a good night, killer. Have a good night, peeps. Hey, no worries, Majestic. Thank you for hanging. I appreciate it. It's always nice to have you. Excuse me, supporting my friend is never optional. <laughs> Alright, Vandris. Still, thank you. It was very much appreciated. <clears throat> oh my god, I just switched my channel to type in slash host and then realize I have rated you, so I'm already hosting. Help, brain is broken. I don't know what to tell you, Noter. Um... It's all good. No worries. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Grab one of these. We'll grab... Ooh, a Corona Bobble. I can slow people on hit now. Dude, way too much cursed knowledge has been ingested this day. Ah, fuck. Wait, I think there's a scrapper over here, though? Isn't the scrapper over here? I don't remember off the top of my head anymore. Please stop. There we go. I don't want that, but that's kind of great that I got it. <laughs> that is insane. So for those who aren't aware, this item here, Silence Between Two Strikes, is a passive equipment that's dropped. It has like a one in... I don't know the exact numbers, but it's really fucking low. It's a very low chance to drop, and it just gives you 50% of your life as shields, which is pretty dope. Actually, depending on what else it does, I might consider picking it up. If it also gives me the damage thing, I might just... You know what? I have an easy way to test it. Hold on. I don't think I've really played with it that much, so let me go give it a whirl real fast. See if it actually gives me the damage as well, because if it does... And that's actually a possible pickup for me. Oh my god, it does the damage thing too. Holy shit. So basically, half my life is shields, which isn't ideal. But I don't have any real way of getting my life back anyway, so who gives a rat's ass. But also, notice how I'm kind of... i am become a needler from Halo. I'm able to do extra damage by sticking electrical bullshit to my enemies per hit, which is kind of insane. Let's see what it does to this boss. And mind you, this is passive. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Dude. Until I get a tank build going, this is going to be a really significant addition to my DPS. Genetic kinks broke my fragile human mind. Honestly, yes, me too, and for some reason it also doesn't surprise me. Like, it kind of makes sense, but also it is just 
really weird to think about. Alright, hold on. Let's go get some items. Unless I'm on even behaviors affected by genetics. I don't remember off the top of my noggin. But then the other thing I've recently learned is that the whole field of psychology is kind of fucked anyway. So like, yeah, I don't really know it's true anymore. Oh, oh, no! I was too slow and I wanted the ATG missile launcher, but I didn't get it and now I'm sad. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scrap some shit that I don't really need. Okay, I don't really need you, don't need you, I don't need one of you, I don't need a single one of you. Everything else is Gucci. Let's go through the blue portal and see if I can't get my hands on, like, I don't know, say yes, I'm going to Scorpion. To varying degrees, I believe that's the case. Psychology is a soft science. It really is. Just like my brain after your stream and all of the knowledge bombs I've been given and how horrified I am right now. Uh, just for giggles, in case I can get an altery thing. Oh shit. Buying two of these is worth. I think... I'm going to go here, and the reason being is that there's a chance for cleansing pools, and if I can get a cleansing pool and cleanse my two beads, and one of them turns into like an irradiant pearl, which would be fantastic, I could become a, a really, really strong boy. But regardless, I'll still be able to get like freaking crazy amounts of life if I find one. So like, regardless, it's very good. Very good. Ow. Uh, needle tick is not the choice I'm going to take here. Oh, my alarm's going off. Of course it is. But it's a holiday weekend, so I'm not super concerned about it. I could, I could give my equipment drum my equipment, which would be kind of funny. I'd completely useless, but I'm not going to do that. Hmm. There we go. What holiday is it? Memorial Day, my friend. Memorial Day weekend, rather. For those of us in the United States of America, uh, Memorial Day is happening, which is a day where we honor, if I remember right, those who have fallen in battle and served our country, just in general. So, yeah. To me, it's a very important holiday. Oh uh, man, actually the holiday is also bringing up some very sad memories for me, because uh, it makes me think of my grandpa, who served. You have an equivalent one on the 25th of April in Australia? Nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do real fast, I want to see what's in the equipment thing, because there's a chance I will get rid of it. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to buy this. This is going to sound or seem crazy. I'm going to give this equipment drone a way to summon additional drones. <laughs> I just now have a portable army, and I'm loving it. Uh, I want that large chest. Please give me your money. Money, 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 money. Give me all the freaking money. Yep, 
my equipment drone can summon strike drones, which just kill things for me, which is fantastic. I mean, Australia just sounds like America, but way better. Ah, uh, I think a general, yeah. I was actually kind of pissed off with Australia, to be honest, not long ago, and it's completely not related to country, but more a policy of theirs. They stopped allowing the sale of a game called RimWorld in Australia, which kind of ticked me off. But I guess they have some very strict policies when it comes to video games of what can and can't be sold there. And I was like, really, RimWorld? You're not going to sell RimWorld, one of the best fucking games out there? And uh, But they finally started selling it again. I don't know what happened so that they could start selling it again, but I do remember that headline, and it made me very, very salty. But in general, Australia's fantastic, man. My guess is that there was something about cannibalism or something that maybe they didn't like. I don't know. But to be fair, RimWorld has a lot of fucked up things you can do. Like, you know, enslaving people by making them your prisoners and then converting them over to your colonies so that they can do forced labor for you while also being kind of turned into a friend. You can eat people, you can sell people's body parts, you can turn people into actual robots, you can do all sorts of lovely things. And that's not even including the modded shit you can do, which I'm not even going to get into because that's a whole other can of worms. But, uh, god, I love that game to bits, and at some point I really need to play it again, but I'm waiting for when the moment hits right, you know? When my brain's like, yeah, let's do some fucked up shit. Rimworld's fantastic. I have this problem with Rimworld, though, where I literally can't play it unless I have, like... A bunch of mods turned on because there's as great as the game is some of the design choices they've made for the game are in my opinion kind of crap and i wish a lot of these little quality of life improvements would be added to the base game and some have been added actually a lot have been added but um there's still a lot of optimization that can be done with the game so i actually play with way more mods than most people i think ever play that game with You know what? I will keep that instead of turning into scrap. Do I have a gasoline? I don't. Let's print a singular gasoline. And also, where is the teleporter again? Did I just skip the teleporter completely? Did I just miss it? Let's also grab one of these. Oh, I forgot. I don't have scrap. I lost crit glasses. I'm very sad now. The teleporter's down here? Alright. From my experience, it's a lot of obesity and mental illness. USA sucks real bad in lava. Yeah, but every country has their shit things. Granted, the USA is looking less and less great as time goes on. Ship bags gain more and more control. Yep, that is an issue. Um, the US also has this thing where people like to own guns and shoot them and kill people for fun, it feels like. Even though that's not actually the case. Like, it's just gun control here is. A thing that I wish was taken a touch more seriously, but here we are. Oh my god, the amount of damage this thing lets me do is just stupid. Jesus, that is nuts. Alright, what was the item I get? Ooh! Yay, shipping form! Mental illness is a catch. Oop. It's a catch all assholes use for shitty people. Don't use pieces of shit on us. Don't, don't those pieces of shit on us. Yes, I am the early version. I was like, to be fair, there's a lot of mental illness everywhere. Not strictly the US. But also, um, not all of it is actually an illness. Actually, a lot of it even isn't. It's just people are wired different, man. Like, seriously, a whole bunch of people are wired different. Get 
actually makes me wonder how my brain is wired. Specifically, like, why I have cursed thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people use mental illness as an excuse, like, with all the mass shootings. Yeah, no. Mental illness is definitely not an excuse for all the for all the massive shootings and everything. Are there probably cases where there was mental illness and gun shooting involved? Yeah, certainly. Is it the vast majority of them? I sincerely doubt it. Hang on a second. I need to murder someone. All right, there we go. I was specifically talking about the really severe ones that make people unable to function normally, not trying to make them seem like bad people. Wait, why do I... Did I just grab a PSG? What? what is... I guess I could scrap it later, so I guess that's fine. Alright, that one's dead. What is going on? Wait, did I miss an egg? Is there an egg up here? Sometimes there's an egg up here. There's not an egg up here. Damn. You know the other thing that's really terrifying? Most of the gun locks you can buy, or at least a lot of them you can buy on Amazon, have such shit security, all you really need is like a magnet, or like some really easy way of getting around it, or even just something as simple as like a shim. And that's all it takes to get into them. Okay, but like, where are the eggs? I would like to make an omelet. <clears throat> I hear a disappearing, which means I just see one more eggy wiggy. Oh, that's a long post. I have to pause. Like, people with mental illness are far more likely to be abused. They are rarely the abuser. At least I should have my hair a more because I was saying the mass shooting pet definitely in our country is a mental illness crisis. No cupcake. It's a you problem. So fuck for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing is, for whatever reason, I feel like there are some people out there who are like, yeah, I have a right to defend myself. That's fantastic. I agree. That's fine. But also, just because you have the right. It should also mean that you should be responsible for your weapons and lock them properly and make sure that, like, I don't know, your kids aren't getting easy access to your guns or making sure that you know where your guns are at all times, being held accountable for your own shit there. Like, the onus isn't strictly on the parent, obviously. Like, there has to be other things involved like you need to teach your kids hey it's never okay to touch my weapon it's never okay to use this gun as a form of solving your problems so there's a bit of you know teaching on that part but there's also the whole you should restrict physical access to your weapons because yeah the thing you're buying off amazon to protect your kid from getting into your gun there's a very high probability that you didn't do your actual research on figuring out which locks are actually effective in protecting people from using your firearm and there's a very high likelihood that yeah if your kid is not you know properly taught how to responsibly use a weapon yeah they're gonna get easy access to your weapons they're gonna be able to do all sorts of crazy shit it's kind of a mixed bag there that's just my super not amazingly informed opinion Maybe it's a hot take. I don't know, but that's just how I feel about it. The fault lies not with just one or two specific things. There are so many variables that go into this where when political parties are like, oh, it's all this XYZ's fault. I'm like, that's complete bullshit. This is an extremely broad and massive issue that there are so many variables that we have to control or train people on and... It's not fair to point out a couple little things. Hang on a second. It's not all bad, though. There was a Supreme Court leak saying they were thinking about... Hold on. I have to actually read now. 
saying they were thinking about overturning Roe v. Wade, which is good because... No, it is not. What? If I need a new liver, can I take yours without asking? I mean, yeah, it wouldn't be illegal, though. So you'd be okay with me just taking your liver. I didn't say that. You could definitely do it. I'm kind of curious where your thought process on this is, typical viewer. What makes a baby's... Or even something that has no emotions or anything more important than the host trying to raise said thing that doesn't even yet have consciousness. You're gonna take your fingers away from this and sit this one out? Okay. Something in that killer. Nobody has the right to use another person's body for any reason. Yeah, that's also the other issue. But yeah, you have a better way of articulating it than I do. And just a reminder to everyone, and I'm not like calling anyone out or anything. I just like to remind y'all to, uh, as long as this is a civil discussion and we're not trying to completely shit on people's viewpoints, I'm kind of okay with this. We can agree to disagree on topics. Um, personally, I'm of the opinion that Roe v. Wade shouldn't be overturned. Again, that's my opinion, just as typical viewers' opinion is an opinion. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh god! I'm on stage 4 at 29 minutes. Oh god, this is a very slow run, isn't it? Uh, let's go this way. Okay, it's over here. Hang on a second. I'm having a hard time seeing where you're going with this one. That are also sorry, fan. I just feel strongly about this. I'm actually curious where this is going because I actually don't know. I didn't realize this passive was so fucking strong, dude. Jeez. I'm going to catch up on chat here in a minute. I'm going to finish this teleporter out first. Holy crap, I can summon drones fast enough that they can overlap? That's kind of nuts. I didn't know that. It's a gunner. Don't want a gunner. Let's hit this.
<clears throat> then why does a fetus have the right to use a woman's body? It could make the choice on whether to do that or not. They could make the choice. If I, an adult human with my own feelings, thoughts, never endings and body processes, do not have the right to use your body, why does a lump of flesh that isn't even fully formed yet have that right? And that's kind of the whole crux of the situation, right? Like, at what point is it like... I don't even know how to articulate this well, and this is part of the reason why I'll never probably ever be on Notters and Leah's thing, because I don't articulate shit very well, but it's kind of like a slippery slope, right? At what point does something get to do something to another person? I don't think you should ever have the right to be able to force something on another person. Whether or not it has conscious thought or not. To me, at that stage of life, a fetus or whatever form it's in at the moment is essentially a parasite that you can either choose to allow to continue to exist and form into something, or you just terminate it because either medical reasons, or because you're not ready, or because whatever. Like at that point, you're the one hosting the thing. Right? You're the one hosting the multi celled organism inside of you. You should be able to have a say in what goes on inside of your own body. That's just my stance on this whole thing. There are other nuances, but that's my general thought process on the whole thing, I guess. No one has a right to my body, no one. Exactly, that's essentially what I thought I just said, Vandris. Like, in general, no one should ever be able to control your own body. It's your body. You do with it what you want. Of course, the argument can be taken into a whole other direction when you're talking about like criminals who have done such heinous things that they need to actually install tracking devices in them, into their bodies, in which case, like, at what point, where does that line draw? And I still don't think you should be able to force inmates to have tracking devices in their body without their consent. That just seems fucking weird and wrong to me, but... I mean, this argument could be taken a whole bunch of different ways, I guess. If you can have an abortion, if the delivery is going, you can have an abortion if the delivery is going to harm anyone. Rather, if it will kill anyone. Oh God, this is not good. Ow. Okay. Let's grab this. Let's hide. Let's hopefully get my shields back in a somewhat timely fashion, so I don't fucking die. Oh, fuck. Did it just clip me? It did. That fucker clipped me. Nope. Nope. Got it. Okay. Where am I gonna go with this? Okay, there's a teleporter. It's over yonder way. Let's ride the top. Grab some stuff. Go with it. And again, it isn't technically... I mean... I'm saying that isn't your body. You don't have the... You have no right to control it. I mean, it is inside of your body. It's literally cells that are feeding off of your body. I don't know... How you could differentiate that.
The originating cells of the fetus have come from your own body. Therefore, it's basically your own body until, you know, it's no longer inside. Like, it's still a part of you. Like, you should have control over that. I missed. Shit. Hold on, I feel like something just happened. Not to rude, but you need to cure your own brain words. Wow, okay. What I will say is, I would encourage everyone to do some digging, figure out why you feel that way, like Nodra said. I think maybe we should probably stop talking about this topic, it's just starting to cause, you know, very heated, strong feelings. Hey, you have a good night as well, typical. Thank you for coming in, I appreciate you hanging out. Don't apologize for bringing up the subject. Apologize for having an absolutely disgusting appropriate perspective on sexually sexually enslaving women. Let's go here. If I dropping it, but I will not stand by and let some spew from an NPC dollar tree run by horrifying. No, that's fine. Defending viewpoints is fine by me. I'm just to a point where I'm like, I'm so fucking tired. I have no way of mentally parsing through political shit right now. And that's the thing for me, like, to me it shouldn't even be political, but I don't have a way of verbally expressing that in a way that would sound not completely rude, if that makes sense. I was also genuinely curious to see what talking points would be brought up, because I am curious why people have the thought process in terms of why they feel that something should have more say than the person carrying. So I was trying to figure out the other side, if that makes sense, try and gain a better understanding. So. At the moment for tonight, I don't think I can mentally process this stuff. But in general, 
I don't think it should be political, but yeah. I didn't mean if anyone, I just want to present my viewpoints on the topic. Hey, no worries. I'm fine with people presenting their viewpoints. Um, I think maybe tonight's not the good night for it, though, considering my mental status is basically check the fuck out. <laughs> uh, if I'm being completely honest, I'm still trying to get over the fact that my parents probably have similar kinks and fetishes as me. Like, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that, and frankly, I don't know if I'll ever mentally recover from that. Like, that's still stuck in my brain, and I don't know how I'm going to process this. Because that gives me some very uncomfortable feelings. Uh, oh, thank you, Sammy Bad, for the team for the follow. I appreciate it. Great, think this through. If, then, if I do not have the right to use your body, why does a fetus have the right to use a mother's body? What the hell just happened? I have the many... Oh, because there's a white seat. Okay, that's the information I'm missing. Ah! <clears throat> Maybe it'd be good to talk about I just feel like I messed up here about just talking. Nah! To me, you didn't mess up. You opened a controversial topic, yes, which there's no rules against. It's a very sensitive one for many folk in here, myself included. Um, I do think at this point, though, probably discussions via Discord would be good. I'm actually debating starting a political section in my Discord just to see all different viewpoints, because I am genuinely curious about them. I don't discount a viewpoint. How do I put it? I'm constantly trying to learn, right? I'm constantly trying to figure out why people feel the way, the way they do, trying to figure out why they have a certain thought process. And while my mindset is that no one should ever have authority over my own body, no matter what, I am curious to see why you feel differently. So I'm fine with the discourse, just maybe not right now in the stream. But in general, to me, you didn't do anything wrong. Also, yes, to be clear, uh, Noder is also a very similar... Well, hold on. I'm, let me let me take a few steps back. Noder and I think very similarly. His viewpoints are a bit more concentrated and probably way more learned than mine is currently. He's also very passionate. Honestly, one of the views I'm really curious about is why some people are like, everyone needs to come back into the office now, despite the data showing working from home is generally... That is another good point. I would love to get a bunch of Fortune 500 company CEOs' input from and figure out why they feel that as well. Like, okay, hold on. Oh, God. Now I'm going to go on a tangent. You guys have opened a can of worms. So here's my issue, right? The whole mentality, everyone needs to come back into the office, only makes sense for a couple of people. A couple of industries specifically. One, if you need to work on like a computer or some sort of machine that simply needs to have someone on site, yeah, you definitely need to come back into the office. Two, you're some sort of like service worker where you actually need to be on premises to do the work. Like we're talking cashiers, we're talking, I don't know, servers, waitresses. That kind of thing. Yeah, you should probably be on site for that. Three, um, something where the location is extremely important for the work you're doing. Like location specific things. That stuff, yeah, that makes sense. I like that. I, I, that makes sense. Like for example, my job the, before the one I have currently. Yeah, I needed to be in the office because I needed to talk to the people who were like, yeah, my laptop's broken. I don't know why. And I would need to go in to occasionally fix some other thing. What is this? 
Oh, that's Titanic Neural. Okay, I don't think I want that over my Molten thing. No, I don't. But yeah, in general, I'm like... Why do office workers need to go back into the office? It doesn't make much sense. We can collaborate using online tools. We can save money, massive amounts of money, by not taking up a whole bunch of space in office, in like offices and shit. We can save a bunch of gas. We can have much less of an impact on the actual like globe as a whole by not using public transportation or any transportation to go in there. We were going to spend electricity anyway, just by the virtue of us having to use a computer to do our work, unless you're some weird maniac who only works in files. Like, it doesn't make any goddamn sense to me. So I would be seriously curious to figure out why people feel the way they do in regards to all of that. But, yeah. And I feel like I missed a lot more chat. Let me go back. Holy crap. <clears throat> You didn't really talk about it. You just got them shown to your brain by the people. I don't think anyone without female over has to say on this subject. I'm pretty sure advocates, but I really don't think anyone that doesn't fit the criteria has the right to talk politics about my body and rights, so it's not a discussion to be had. Sorry, Van, above all else, your point of view. I don't want or deserve to control that. All right, have a great night, typical viewer. Um, hopefully this didn't bug you too much, but also hopefully we all can learn from this, or at the very least try, I don't know. I don't know how to put this finally. Like I said, my brain at this point is just fucking fried. I don't think there's really a good way to put a bow in this, so I'm just gonna say, have a good night. Hopefully we can all think. What the fuck just happened? Oh, they're over there. Seems I joined the middle of a heated discussion. Yeah, kinda. Um, TLDR political stuff happened such that Roe vs. Wade came up. Um, a discussion was tried to have, and long story short, um, shit went down. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. As I've said over and over again, my brain is fucking dead, man. Yeah, the long story short, someone wanted to try and do politics on vagina, try and say whether or not uh, fetuses should have rights and whatnot, and it's like, it's not your body? But also, I was genuinely trying to figure out what their point of view was, and I never really, like, I got their point of view, that much was there, but I never really got, like, arguments for and I was trying my best to figure out what the arguments were specifically. And then it just kind of blew up. So, there we go. That seems very generic, I know, but I'm not trying to get into the specifics because, frankly, I will probably get them wrong right now. Because I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck is this run? Like, seriously, I have... A bunch of glasses. I have no leeching seed. I have no harvester scythe. I have no ATGs. I have some crit and beyond glasses. I think this run is essentially meat hook and molten perforator. That's basically what this run has become, and it's very confusing to me.
people make no sense and some people are impossible to convince to see your point of view. Yeah, and even if they don't make sense, I'd like to at least try and figure out why they are making sense. I have this weird need to try and figure that shit out and it just wasn't happening. So that's my bad, I guess. I don't know. I know, Vandris. I know you usually keep your cool on this kind of stuff. No worries. I'm not mad at any of you. I'm not mad at any of you at all for any of this, including typical. I'm just... <sighs> like I said, I like to try and learn. I like to see all viewpoints as much as I can and learn why people feel the way they do. And it just wasn't happening. And there's a lot of text. Hang on. Quite frankly, I don't think his point of view is cogent in any way not trying to be mean but when you say your point of view is yours but nobody else but you have to birth a child if you get preggers you've lost the plot I I just want to know why he thinks that like is it a religious thing is it a thing he inherited from his parents is it just rhetoric spewed forth by political parties? Is it... Like, I was trying to figure out the source, if that makes sense. And I don't think there was a way for me to get the source there. Yeah, that would be my guess too, but... I don't like to assume, if that makes sense. I like to hear from the horse, if that makes sense. And I just wasn't getting it. Personally, I'm of the opinion, I'm not a lady. I don't have the lady parts. I don't have any way of giving birth. At least, not that I'm aware of, unless they changed. Actually, did they ever figure out how to get men pregnant? I thought there was a study going on where they were trying to actually have a male give birth, or at least get to that point, but I don't know if it ever went off. Or if that was just a troll article. I don't really know. But yeah, I like how I keep saying we should really stop and then we never stop getting off the topic. <laughs> Can I really night to go? There we go. I got all the items. I need a halicon seed. I need to get out. I'm on stage 7. I've entered the blue fields once, I think? Hold on a second. Yes, is it another also never presented with counterpoints because this isn't a fucking. Uh, Another safer spaces, huh? What just happened? Oh. It's a rat. That's what happened. Okay. You don't have experience with arguing. Like I said, I don't do it. I think at this point it's fair to say we both set our pieces. Or I guess I say both. I say we all set our pieces, and at this point, I don't think there's really sense in continuing the discussion since there's not really much to be gleaned at this point. One, two, seven. 
Oh, frick. I missed. Yeah, this run has basically just turned into Molten Perforator, Meat Hook, and my passive, which is Silence Between Two Strikes. That's what this run has turned into, and I don't really feel like it's going very well. Is that a mocha? It's two mochas. Oh wait, don't fall. Okay, thank god. Also, really quickly, I'm just going to ask this. Is anyone feeling uncomfortable with these discussions? Because if so, um, probably should stop at this point. Yeah, all right, so here's the deal. Let me do something real fast. I'm gonna go to my Discord real fast. Political shit. Boom. All right, I have a new Discord channel called Political Shit. Um, let's do this. If you cannot, like if that link doesn't work and it doesn't let you into the Discord, let me know. I can send you a personal link myself. But if you guys, if you two genuinely would like to have a good nature discussion on your different viewpoints, why you feel the way you do, generally going over political topics, there is now a section in my Discord called Political Shit. Please feel free to engage in discourse there. Please be civil. I'd really rather people not attack each other. Attack each other's viewpoints, that's fine. Just don't attack each other as people, preferably. Would be my, I mean, you know, I would really rather people not tear each other down. I understand that this topic is very, very strongly linked to emotions and feeling like no one should have a right, which makes sense to me. Maybe it doesn't make sense to other people just because we don't understand I'd really rather not tear them down, but try and figure out why they feel that way. Come to a better understanding. But go nuts. There you go. Please don't make me regret making that channel. Anyways. Where was I? Also, another thing I'd like to point out, if you have like sources you can give people on why you feel the way you do, like actual data, I think that would also go a much longer way than just saying, I feel this way because X. Like, where's the data to prove things, right? Because I know a lot of people here are very much data driven. Which to me makes sense, but again, don't know why not everyone feels that way, but here we are. Uh, get rid of these. Get rid of these. I think that'll do. Man, this run is really fucking weird. Like, on one hand, it's cool, because I can kind of act like a soldier from Team Fortress 2 and hit the surrounding area to do my damage. On the other hand, I'm just like, where's my, my direct damage increases? Where's like my insane amounts of mocha? Where's my syringes? Where's... insert good items here. <laughs> hey! Finally! Are those both a radiant? No, they're just pearls. Damn. I was gonna say those are both a radiant. That would be freaking amazing, but they were not. So never mind. False alarm. Uh... Where 
Where is the teleporter? It's over there. Okay. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's go. This friend desperately wants to eat to do your plasma shrimp. Honestly, yes. That would be phenomenal. I would even be fine with just like a simple polyloot. Like, something. Anything that could get this friend some, like, pizzazz or spice or something. It's missing, it's missing that oof, that little thing to make it go over the edge. Because don't get me wrong, this Dude, pilot would so fucking slap right now. I had a run once where I had 25 polyloots, and that was fucking bonkers. I would love that. Is it gonna happen? Oh, hell no. But I would love it for it to actually happen. Death mark, eh? I don't afflict that many status effects is the issue, though. Oh, why am I not? Dirt. And, like, don't get me wrong. This passive ability has been really fun to play with but the moment I get like sustainable health regeneration back I might drop it a charge perforator would be hilarious oh my god I know right that'd be so good so how's it going it's going all right something this run has just been very weird like it's on the cusp of being incredible but it's just missing that factor, you know? It's like, there's something missing. And I like playing with the Silence Between Two Strikes, which is a passive ability that you get very rarely from uh, Shock Elites. And I don't usually like to use shields, but in this particular instance, because I get the damaging effect from the Shock Elites too, it's crazy. But like, I need more than that like the run is missing that final thing to really tip it over the edge i just read an entire small children's book i read when i was younger on the floor of my closet basically what i'm trying to say is that i was sitting on the floor of my closet for 20 minutes and honestly that's okay um i used to actually <laughs> hide in my closet for a little while every once in a while until i got scared of monsters in my closet because i have irrational fears as one does. Um, but yeah, hanging out in the closet could be nice. It's really nice because all the clothes like generally dampen the sound of the house and it's just like, ah, uh, you know. You think Eifer's destruction might be better than Silence of Two Strikes at this point? Honestly, I think so too. Because don't get me wrong, I like having the Needler from Halo as my primary without the annoying reload animation, but like, come on, give me something more. You're not dead yet? Wow, I'm surprised you weren't dead yet. All right. Uh, but damn, Hades is so good. Really excited to see me play more. Honestly, I thought about playing Hades. And then I realized how brain dead I am right now after Again, learning that apparently the different kinks you're into, some of them are genetically passed down. I'm still reeling from that one. Like, Leah has cursed me with this knowledge, and I have no idea how I'm going to process this. Like, this entire session is me trying to cope with the fact that what I'm into might be something my dad and my mom are into, and it's just a whole thing. Me playing Hades made you interested in it? Just not sure how good he'd be at it? Um, I mean, if Noam can play it, surely he can play it too. Just saying, Vandris. And I mean, Vandris, at this point, are you going to let Noam have one up on you in a game that's amazing called Hades? Like, come on. <laughs> I know it's not a competition. I'm just giving y'all shit. I don't know why. Again, my brain's broken. This entire stream is basically just me coping with the fact that kinks are genetically passed down, or at least some of them are. I still am processing that shit 
to this moment. If no one can play it, surely you can too. The shade. I know, right? <laughs> I want to buy and read the entire Diary of a Wimpy Kid series come at me. Honestly, though, I'm not going to lie. I kind of do too. Because I always heard it was a good series, but I never really looked into it. Captain Underpants, though. Fucking gold. Loved that series. Dude, he already has one up on me with Spelunky. I'll never win that one. <laughs> killer, stop. Killer, fucking stop. If that isn't a plea for me to stop mentioning the cursed knowledge, I don't know what is. I will try and stop Andrews, but like, just know that in the back of my mind, the entire time I'm processing, and like the main reason why I can't fucking process anything at the moment is that knowledge. So, now I'm done. You love cat. Wait, if King Surgeon only passed on, I wonder if that means my parents are the most vanilla people on the planet. Honestly, probably. That's the book I was reading in the closet. I was reading Captain Underpants 1. Still holds up. Damn straight it does. It teaches you some harsh realities, man. I don't remember the much of that book, but I remember reading that and going, damn. I don't know what the damn was for. I just remember going damn as a kid. Or something equivalent to damn because, you know, young. Maybe my parents do have kinks, I'm just asexual, so they don't really apply for me. Honestly, very possible. And also, as an aside, I'm glad you figured out. You know, that you're asexual. For some people, that's a very difficult journey. I'm glad you've discovered that about yourself. That makes me really happy. I apologize if me calling that out was weird. I just... That's been a prevalent thing in my life recently. So, I figured I would just say, congratulations, I'm happy for you. God, this run! It's like so close to being like this amazing thing and yet here I am complaining about it non-stop like an asshole wanting it to be just a slight bit better like it's missing like just a little bit more like if I had a couple more tri-tip daggers if I had like more attack speed this would be off the chain but as it stands it's just like uh, you know where in the hell is the teleporter? Am I blind? Ooh, a dagger! Hey, the game's listening! Am I crazy? Is it over there and I'm just blind? The sticky bounce are gonna help a bit. I mean, technically that's true. I'll take that. No! <clears throat> I mean, the armor-piercing rats are also going to help a bit. Am I taking crazy pills? Like, where is this teleporter at? It's not over there. Is it in here? No. Is it behind? Like it was last time? I don't see the particle effects. Alright, you need to stop with your nonsense. There we go. Oh my god, I'm blind. Okay. Hold on. I bought this LED light up mask where you can upload your own images and text to be displayed on the mask. My idea is next time my friends come over to open the door with the mask, I have the word penis on it. It's good use of it. You can always take glass if I want more damage. Yeah, I could take glass if I want more damage. I also enjoy living, though. That's the issue, right? I also enjoy life. And I know I'm not nearly skilled enough to handle glass responsibly. So I know my limit and I stay within it, if that makes sense.
Also, an interaction I think would be great is if fuel cell worked such that if you had additional things and you had a passive, it would like make the effects that much stronger. But I know that's just a pipe dream. Holy crap, I need to run. Holy crap, I need to run. Holy crap, I need to run. Hide. Oh wait, that's friendly, I forgot. Just don't get hit, I know, right? If only I was that good. Like, do you know why I made multi? Because I'm always going to get hit. <laughs> that's literally why I play multi all the time. Well, aside from the fact that I super enjoy the dual daka. Like, just shredding people, like they're fucking Swiss cheese, is... So delightful. I love it. I love the Daco C. Just gonna say that right now. The Daco C is so good. The mask comes Tuesday. I am excited for it. Hope it isn't too small or big, or I can't breathe in it, or isn't connected to my phone or anything. It's like 80 bucks. Oh god. Well, hopefully it works. I'm hoping for you that it does indeed work. Ooh, a dagger! Oh my god. More daggers. Also, this guy needs to stop. Uh. Oh my gosh. Just shoot all of the bullets. With reckless abandon. Never stop shooting the bullets. Just, this guy needs to go. Like, just straight up has to go. Is there another Malachite right behind me? It didn't appear so. Nope, there's one above me. Okay. That guy has to go now. Like, just straight up. I almost died. I need to run. Just run. Run for my life. Also, this guy could kill me, so take them out. Where's the legendary chest? At this point, I feel like legendary chest is going to be my way out. 19k... 19669, nice. Okay, this could actually be very valuable though, so like... Oh my god, it was. I hate that they're really high up. I don't like that they have the high ground. Oh my god! Straight up, almost died just now. Give me this. Give me this. That was the right call, thank you. Just run for a bit. Take this guy out, because they could hide and harbor. Very bad foes. Oh my gosh, please, just no. Are they gone? Yes. There's a Malachite. Just bob and weave, bob and weave. Never stop shooting the bullets. Ooh! One. Two. Oh my god. Fuck all that. This is incredibly hurtful. Please be something really good like a symbiotic scorpion. Fuck. That's actually useless for me right now. This is incredibly bad. Hold on. I love playing double 
Power Saw Multi. Shatter Spleen would be so glorious. Dude, Shatter Spleen would be a revolution for this run. Like, straight up, I would feel like I win the run right now if I had Shatter Spleen. But I don't. So I'm extremely scared. <laughs> I don't even have a Scythe. I don't have a Legion Seed. If I had a Scythe right now, I could give this equipment up and not feel like I would be shafting myself with the damage department, but I don't. So I'm currently just stuck on trying desperately not to die. Could I please get a poly loot or something? Something of note. No, not Needle Tick. Needle Tick. You've given me like three or four Needle Ticks at this point. I don't want that shit. Could you get that out of here? Don't get me wrong. I could appreciate Needle Tick. Especially if I had Shatter Splint, because I could inflict both the Needle Tick Corruption damage, and I could also inflict Bleed, which would be like breaking the fucking Geneva Convention. But I don't even have a Shatter Splint. So, like, what good is that going to do me? <laughs> also, I should totally try and find a, uh, uh, a portly do. There's another Malachite enemy. I am very scared of that right now, so I'm going to destroy them as fast as I freaking can. Please, thank you. Needle Tick is pretty good. Hang on, let me read that momentarily. Let me slay some folks real fast. Needle Tick is pretty good, but the enemies have so much HP that Bleed is probably better right now. Exactly, you see my dilemma. Is it good? Yeah. Can I use it right now? No. No, I cannot. That is indeed my dilemma. And I don't even want to scrap anything at this point, because I have a ton of scrap. I just have nowhere to spend it right now. At least on good items. So it's just like, ugh, oh, wait, what is this? Like, I don't want meat. Like, give me a good printer, for fuck's sake. Oh god, no, not like this. All of the frickin' bullets, please, into that man. Now, I do love that I got on this level a hoopoo feather, because it means I can be more like a soldier and actually pummel things from above and do my aerial damage. Please be good. It's a shield to for fuck's sake. It would be Malachi Dems, wouldn't it? The one enemy I don't want to fight right now. Uh, all of the bullets! <laughs> you know, the other nice thing though, at least I have meat hooks, because it's keeping them relatively together, so I don't just get fucking swarmed to death, you know? So that is a good thing, right? Like... Oh my fucking god. But just oh my god a will of the wisp praise the lord also if you don't mind give me a second i just want to make sure something isn't going wrong okay nothing's going wrong so far And, like, I can't complain too much, right? Because, like, technically the damage isn't horrible. But, like, it's not great either at this stage of the game. It's just very... <sighs> I'm missing a few critical items, and I don't know where to find them. <laughs> it's the really big part. You just realized I never got... Yeah, I know. If I had even a regular ukulele, I would be able to at least kill multiple enemies at a time. But, like, as it stands, my AoE at this point is limited to strictly... Um, just my lightning. Literally. It's just my lightning. Oh, and my Molten Perforator, technically. Yeah, this... Like, it's yikes, but in a really cool way. 
It's yikes, because, yeah, I have a Molten Perforator. Theoretically, that's a fantastic area damage. But, like, alone, it's just like, what are you doing, baby? Like, come on. And I don't want fucking Lost Year's Lenses, <laughs> for fuck's sake. I just want a freaking Scythe at this point. Give me a Harvester's Scythe, please. <laughs> Honestly, as soon as I get a Harvester's Scythe, I'm going to feel way more confident about this run. But I just haven't found one yet. Oh god, another one, eh? Please. Oh my god. Why? I'm begging you. Give me a scythe. Something that gives me life back. Is that a seed? Oh my god, I have a seed. <laughs> oh my god. Why? And now I'm like, is this enough to drop my thunder? Like, because I feel like the thunder is doing a good amount of damage. I don't even have an ignition tank for my perfect. I know, right? I had a choice for ignition tank, but I choose between ignition tank and a hoopoo feather. And if I'm being straight with you, the hoopoo feather is way better for survivability, which is sort of what I need at this point. So like, yeah. I'm getting shafted in all the horrible ways right now with this game, and I don't really appreciate it. Unless this is a legendary to simply like Scorpion. <laughs> it's not, it's a Lake of Vultures, which is in itself hilarious. Because I usually shun it because I'm like, oh, well if it's a shield enemy, then I'm going to get an absolute shit thing. And I'm currently running with a shield enemy passive. <laughs> so it's like, ugh. I hate it. Correction, poo poo feather? God damn it, Noter. I mean, yes, but no. You're right, but also I hate it. Alright, let's take these guys down. Like, I don't think I'm comfortable removing this passive from my build because it's doing so much of the heavy work. Oh my god. Please give me a scythe? No. Game, you have one job. Oh, there's a tri shop up there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what is inside of you? Oh my god. I have an ATG missile launcher now. Good grief. This run is like pulling teeth. Oh yeah, 100% crit chance? Fantastic. Double my damage. But like. I need more. Also, oh, my, ice, my ICBM that I've had for fucking ever is finally enabled by... And I got a ukulele... Okay. Okay, game. Are you trying to finally make up for all the bullshit you put me through? Is, is that what's going on now? <clears throat> I see what you're doing, game. I'm still not happy, but I'll take it. Also, I'm going to take this and I'm going to do the boss right now. And then I'm going to run back for that. I just have to figure out where the teleporter is again. Uh, okay, it's way the fuck over there. Of course it is. You know what? With the ATGs, I think I might be comfortable leaving the aspect now, but... <sighs> this game sucks sometimes, dude. Alright, let's do the boss fight. Let's activate this. Boom. Probes. Thank you. Let's get the fuck out of here real fast. I realize this is a very long detour to get back my passive, but my passive is doing a lot of damage. But I really want the free boss item, because I'm very greedy. So, yeah, here we are. <laughs> Give me that. Bam, 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 bam. 
Hey! Holy shit. With ATGs and fucking ukulele, I can actually do, like, the damage now. It's incredible. Wow, they actually killed my Earl, my Earl Lucy, or whatever the fuck it's called. Okay. And I got another Solus control unit, which in this case, the stacks give it more damage. That's nice. Until Mythrix has it, and then I'm gonna cry, but it's fine. <clears throat> and by the way, don't think I'm gonna immediately leave the stage. I'm gonna go loot the crap out of the stage in the hopes, in the hopes that I find a really good printer or like literally anything to make this run even more powerful, because I do have an ATG and I do have a ukulele at this point, but I would love some additional things. Namely, more of both of those things. Avoid Cradle, turn it into a poly loot, because poly loot is dope. Uh, an ignition tank would be pretty nice for my molten for a freighter, like, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce her name. JME1441, Jimmy? I think it's supposed to be Jimmy? Am I saying your name right? Please correct me if I'm saying it wrong. I could use some more speed. So I'll grab two of these. Jamie, okay, I wasn't sure. And I apologize in advance if I forget your name. I do try really hard to remember names, but um, I am absolute shit tier at remembering names. So I apologize in advance. Right, they're taken care of. Backup mag, a chrono bobble. Cool. Something really good, like a fucking scythe, another glasses, another opal. It's fine, I'm, you're all flat names at will. Yep, I am. Street calls me Gerald. I don't know how he gets that from Vandris, but I've learned to accept it. I know, Gerald. I'm sorry. I mean, Vandris, fuck. If I actually called you Gerald somehow from Vandris, I would have serious concerns. <laughs> uh, now I kind of want to just call you Gerald now. Like, the can of worms is open. Like, I'm tempted to, but I think you would probably actually hate me if I did that. Well, actually, that's where I'm confused, though. Because, like, would you hate me? Because it's annoying? Or would you respect me? Because... I'm doing the troll, right? The inner workings of the trash panda are not something I'm privy to. You can expect nothing less from me. All right then, Gerald. Thank you. Whatever you say, Jeremiah. Jeremiah? Jeremiah. There we go. Names. <laughs> All right, let's go. Tinted Bobble would make Mythics a joke. That's true. I could have picked up Tinted Bobble a while ago, but if I'm being honest with you, I kind of like Corona Bobble more. You're going to come into chat tomorrow to call me just Gerald. Everyone's just going to be like, the fuck? I know, right? Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me check something real fast, if you don't mind. This is actually kind of important. I need to double check something. Uh, tomorrow's Monday... The blood work is tomorrow, fast... Oh, it's just four hours. I can handle that. Perfect. What was the void item the game offered last stage? Um, <clears throat> if you talk about stage 10, which is when I was just on, it was uh, Lost Sears Lenses, which... No. <laughs> 
I've had lost series lenses runs that have been f fabulous. This is not one of those runs I would want to risk that on. Did I just survive because I killed them in the nick of time? I think that's what just happened, and I'm just like, whoa. Oh my god, please. Uh, this is gonna be hell. Alright, Sky Raisin, get out of here with your bullshit. Get out of here with your bullshit. Uh, <sighs> like, don't get me wrong, Last Year's Lenses on Multi is really good. I just don't like it as much. Like, I'd rather have just a straight crit, you know? Uh, yes. <laughs> that was just a, you buy that now, you buy that now or you're a moron kind of a situation. <sighs> I will buy one. I lost some crit, and I lost some damage mitigation. That sucks. But I think this might help me out in the long run? I'm not sure. I do have a legendary scrap, I think. Don't I? Do I not? I don't. Okay, so I can't be gambling that and all that shit's whatever. Okay. Um, well, this is awkward. Okay. All of the bullets. Beautiful. Get me the fuck out of here, please. God, the music here is so good. Get out of here with your bullshits. Got him. I'm starting to slowly respect shields more. Scorpion would have actually made this run a joke. I know, that's why I was so desperate for a scorpion. But like, the game is just like, being a tease. It's just like, ooh, I'm gonna touch your willy and make you really, really want it, and then we're not gonna do anything about it, which makes me very sad. But here we are. That's just this game sometimes. Sometimes you get all the items you're looking for, and it's a absolute wonderful time. Other times, you really have to fight tooth and nail for every victory and make sure you don't stand in the fire and, like, have no fucking regeneration other than one leeching seed, which is absolute bullshit. But here we are. Uh. So part of me is actually glad I still have half shields. Strictly because they'll regenerate after seven seconds and there's an easy-ish way to get out of trouble for seven seconds. But like, on the other hand... <sighs> I think that side probably said it all, right? What just happened? I heard a sound and it freaked me out. Alright. You're gone. You're gone. Both of you are going to be gone! Sometimes the game gives you so many shit runs in a row that you feel the need to play commands so that I cannot shaft you again. Honestly, yes. Yes. Sometimes it do be that way. Also, Noter, are you still here? By chance? Because I have question for you, if you are. You are still here. First off, thank you. Uh, second off... <clears throat> So I have a mod on that makes it so that Lunar Coins are shared when I pick up. I could also change the number of Lunar Coins you get per Lunar Coin. And I've made it five because Lunar Coin accrual is such a slow fucking process and we spend a fuck ton of them. 
Would it bug you if I kept that on during our multiplayer sessions? Or would you rather I turn it back to one when we do multiplayer? I figured I would ask first. Instead of just being in... Yeah, not at all. Cool. I don't think Leah would mind either. I don't know if Leah's here or not. She's not. She went to bed. Um, I know Dragon doesn't mind. Um, but I just figured I would ask first before I just popped in one time and then all of a sudden you're like, why the fuck do I have 20 Lunar Coins after this run? You just like doing multiplayer with me? You don't give a shit about progression or any of that shit? Gotcha. Alright. I also really enjoy just playing with you and Leah just for shits and giggles. Really enjoy that. Want no way of not dealing with Lunar Coin gathering? Yeah, there's a text file you can edit where you can actually change the variable. Um, I just... Eh. Speaking of bed, saying it's bedtime for reals. Yeah, I know, right? I was surprised you guys were still in here. I'm like, I really appreciate it, but it's like almost two in the fucking morning for y'all. And I'm like, I know y'all love me, but I didn't think y'all loved me that much. So <laughs> I'm, I kid, obviously. I know y'all love me, but like, go get some sleep. Y'all need sleep. Good night, y'all. Thank you for hanging. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it, Noter. And thanks for hanging out with us, Vandris, even during the uh, the topic that was very, very heavy. That shouldn't even be a discussion. Yep, this is why I always have two billion Lunar Coins. I could totally make the mod make it such that every time I pick up a Lunar Coin, I get like three or four hundred or something, or even more, but... I thought five was probably good enough. It'll keep me plumb through most of the runs, and I could technically accrue them. But it would also force me to not just constantly spam Lunars, if that makes sense. Oh, thank you, Jamie, for the follow. I appreciate that. Really, really appreciate that. Because my thing with Lunars is, I want to have a choice I make still. Like, I understand the idea behind the Lunars is to make you choose whether or not you pick up a Lunar based on the amount of currencies. But I didn't, I didn't want to trivialize it, right? But I also don't want to make it so I have to run separate runs specifically just to farm Lunars. Like, to me, that would be boring as shit. So that's kind of the line I drew, if that makes sense. I think that makes sense, right? I don't know. Or I'm just crazy, which is also a very valid point, because, I mean, have you seen the shit that comes out of my mouth? Like, for real. I say some weird shit. And I have very weird thoughts sometimes. Fight a Twisted Scavenger and come out with 100 lunar coins afterwards. Able to see the boss fight. <laughs> hey, Tlerma, how's it going? Yeah, I'm somehow still awake for some reason, but here we are. To be honest, I don't plan on being awake much longer, but you know. Here we are! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, lords. Not again. Uh... You're gonna do pizza cutter soon. I don't appreciate that. Why are you doing pizza cutter? <sighs> Hang on, I will read that momentarily. <gasps> please, please just stop. Okay. Somehow, I am alive. I don't know how I'm still alive, but I'm gonna take it. Yeah, it's fine. Seeing the final fight is a little demanding for the day. Aw, well, thank you. Hopefully, you enjoy this. Hopefully, I don't fucking just die. Please! No! No, don't touch me! Not like that!
Mithrix, please just stop. Okay, I win. I guess I'll go here? I don't know. Oh, fuck, I missed. Hey! That wasn't a bad portal. <clears throat> no, wait, what am I doing? Just keep running. There's no way I could do Void Lee, I don't think. Yeah, no. There's no way I could do a Void Link. I would just fucking die. Because I have just shields. <sighs> Alright, fine. Yeah. If this run had, like, a Harvester Scythe or two, maybe I would just toy with the idea of possibly doing Void Link, but I just don't feel potent enough to really do Void Link and survive. Because at the moment, my survival is based on one Leeching Seed, which is already not great. And Shields, which takes seven seconds to regenerate. <clears throat> yeah. Well, here we are. Dude, if this run had like a poly loot or something, this would have been phenomenal. But, here we are. At least I finally got an ATG on my uh, second to last level, right? Polyloot and a Clover would send this run to the stratosphere. Exactly. So, Jamie, that's what I mean. Like, this run had the makings to be absolutely baller once I finished my first loop. And then nothing ever happened. I was just like, what is going on? It was so concerning. <clears throat> Like, okay, hold on. So, here we are, right? I've done 9.3 million damage, which isn't horrible. But look at my items, right? Like, I had okay-ish speed by the end of it. I've had ICBM for a fucking long time. It didn't get enabled until my second to last stage of the game, when I finally got my first ATG. My attack speed wasn't crazy. I only had... What is this an equivalent of? Like... Two and a half syringes of attack speed extra? Which is not much. I had sticky bombs, which is whatever. I had bands, which I couldn't even proc with my ATGs because you need two of them in order to proc 400% damage. Because one ATG alone, if memory serves, is 300%. Yeah, so I couldn't even proc my bands. Like, did I even print anything this run? Not really, no. Like, I did, there weren't really any good printers. The best printer I could find, I had two choices for printers, and it was after my first loop. I could have printed either gasoline, or I could have printed goat hooves. And I think there was a meat printer at some point, but I, I'm like, I don't want meat. I want damage. <laughs> and a lot of my damage I felt like was coming from my passive. So the Soulbound Catalyst at the end of the game was completely invalid because my damage was coming from something I couldn't control. Um, now, don't get me wrong. Brilliant Behemoth at the end. Oh, God, that was amazing. And getting an English tank was great. I had to sacrifice one glasses, which is whatever. But then I also had to sacrifice one bear, which was yeesh. And I forget the other thing I sacrificed. But like, this run. Oh yeah, I didn't even get, I did not get this ukulele until the second to last stage as well to Flirma. So for the, and then this didn't come until my third or fourth last stage of the run. So like this entire run was basically, I had a decent amount of crit, I had a Molten Perforator since near the beginning of the run during the first loop. And then everything else was just like mediocre items. And I'm just sitting here like, please. As you can see, I have 13 green scrap that's just sitting here. Because I kept getting useless shit like Hunter's Harpoons or like Squid Polyps. Or leptin daisies. And I'm just like, I don't need these. 
yeah, I got ATG and ukulele on stage 10. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, great. I could have used this so much sooner. <laughs> However, this one run, this run taught me something very important. And it's that shields are still kind of not my favorite, but they're not as bad as I make them out to be. I still don't respect them as much as I probably should. I still don't like them because you can't regenerate them through life stealing means. But I'll tell you what, boy, if you don't have any life steal anyway, like if you don't have any leeching seeds, if you don't have any freaking size, yeah, shields could actually be a pretty viable option. Because in terms of survivability, I'm rocking what? Two cautious slugs, which is plus six HP out of com or when I don't get a hit. I had two bustling fungus, so that was basically worthless. And I got a leeching seed pretty close to the end of my run. If I remember right, this was also a stage 10 pickup. Shields are actually pretty good and allow you to print all your healing into damage. I mean, th that's true. I just... So, Jamie, for context and just so you know how I usually roll. <clears throat> I'm usually the guy who rolls with just a bunch of leeching seeds and some scythes and crit. That's what I love to run. And I'm usually playing multi. So I just, I'm a critopotamus and I just continuously crit over and over and get all of my life back. And I love that. I love being the tank. I feel like shields are good if you don't have access to those. And I do see your point. It could definitely print into damage instead, but again, that would have required me to actually get something good to print into for damage. <laughs> so I think your advice in general is very sound. I'm not going to deny that. Also, if you get Transcendence, that's probably also another really good way to make shield runs amazing. I could just imagine getting like two or three Transcendence, and it'd be fantastic. Shrimp is shield plus damage. I never got to get a shrimp, though. I would have loved to have a shrimp during that run. Are you kidding me? If I had gotten a shrimp way early in the run, this pocket ICBM would have been fantastic. But like, I only ever got Lensmaker's lenses. Yeah, I imagine. But once you play the game enough, you realize that valuing healing so highly tends to make your runs harder. Does it? Okay. Hmm. So I guess I'm trying to figure out how much healing or how much value I should put on healing over damage. Like, are we talking like two or three slugs is all I need? Or are we talking like um, having a few left in daisies is fine? Like, that's the other thing I'm not sure about, right? Because I'm still learning this game. Like, I've... This is going to be slightly embarrassing for me, but frankly, I don't care. I'm currently 376 hours into this game, and I fully realize I am nowhere near my potential for this game. If going late game healing sucks, you'll just get insta-killed. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Like, I could see the value of, like, getting, like, two or three transcendence. Getting an absolute fuck ton of shield. And then just learning how to hide well. Is that why there are memes about the lesser wisps and hoping the wisps don't find you? Because that's like the key element to any good run late game is like a whole fuck ton of transcendence. A good amount of shield and then praying nothing hits you for seven seconds so you can regenerate all your health so you can get back into the fray. Is that why that meme exists? I'm asking, like, seriously. Like, I'm actually asking this in full seriousness. Because if that's a strat I should try and go for, I might try and do that. Also, what do you guys say? When you guys say late game, are you talking about more than one loop? Like, are you talking about two plus loops? You've never seen that meme before? Oh, never mind. It might be a Wooly-ism then. I don't remember. I remember hearing it at some point. Did I get a log entry? No, I didn't. But I am curious. Do the rare equipments get their own entries? I don't actually know if they do.
They don't? That's insane to me. They don't have their own entry. Huh. Anyway. Like one or two loops. Yeah, a few slugs and maybe a med kit is more than enough feeling, even for a no loop run, because learning to dodge is the best way to win the game. Yeah, I'm nowhere near Eclipse stages right now. I can do Monsoon multi sometimes, but like... Yeah, I'm still learning how not to get hit. It's really hard when you get flanked from multiple sides, dude. I think the other issue is... This is my favorite character. Like, if I go... Actually, why don't I just show you? I think it's in the logbook... Profile stats? Like, if it isn't obvious who my favorite character is... Uh, Multi is my favorite by far. Love Multi. Followed by Captain. Followed by Artificer. Followed by Bandit. And everyone else is just kind of... Bleh, who gives a fuck? Except for Void Fiend. You can go to hell. You could do Eclipse 1 right now. I mean, I could. But the other thing to consider is... Uh, it is currently the best way to learn to play Eclipse is to play Eclipse, and my advice would be just go for it. To be honest, before I do Eclipse, I would rather just try and get like Monsoon down. Because <laughs> currently I'm still in the Rainstorm. Um, eventually I'll do Monsoon. For now I'm just trying to play to relax because my job is extremely stressful right now. But I'm not actually going to do any more runs tonight because, quite frankly, it's past midnight for me i intended to fall asleep like an hour and a half ago but you know uh then i was requested to do stream so i streamed <laughs> so let me figure out who i'm gonna raid real fast and then we'll go from there eh? uh <clears throat> i haven't raided at cash in a hot minute I also haven't rated Litorius in a hot minute either. <clears throat> Alright, so here's my question for y'all. Would you prefer to see Blasphemous, which is a video game that looks like a uh, 2D scroller Metroidvania type game with a lot of biblical shit, but like fucked up? Or would you rather watch Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green Kaizo Iron Man? <clears throat> or Iron Mon? Monsoon is pretty easy to be honest, probably because I use hardcore mods that make Monsoon look like Drizzle. Oh yeah, play Monsoon first is a better idea. I forgot some people weren't forced to learn this game on Monsoon. You learn to play the game in multiplayer Monsoon. Yeah, I didn't do that. You want to see fucked up shit to Flirma? Alright. Let's go raid Atakash then. They summon Satan in that game? I have no idea. Um, I know very little about this game other than I want it someday, but I don't have it. Um, but anyway, let's go right out of cash. But before I leave, I'd like to say thank you all so much again for watching, for hanging out with me, for all the follows and hosts and everything. And it's nice to see you again to Flirma. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> um, but I'd like to remind you all to eat right, hydrate, and take care of your mental health. Spare love and joy to the world and keep improving a little each day. Y'all are loved, are lovely, and I will see you all next time. Probably tomorrow. I don't know what I'll be playing tomorrow, but something. Alright, bye y'all.